an era of globalization that we're in right now, no country is going to be able, unless it is a hermit kingdom like a North Korea or something like that, no country is really going to be able to produce everything that it consumes. It's just absolutely impossible. It might have been able to bend the case for the most part uh, 50, 100 years ago. It's just, there's simply no way right now. So when you're looking at diversifying your supply chain, in this case, per perhaps leaving China and looking at Mexico, you need to look at what are gonna be the fits as, as you would in any business situation, whether you're hiring someone or you're wanting to set up a new distribution partner, You know what, what's gonna be the best fit? And where Mexico has a lot of extrinks or automotive parts, um, just any types of, most types of automotive parts um, and motors, plastic injection molding is very, very big in Mexico. Uh, metals, uh, electrical harnesses, uh, textiles can, textiles, it, it can, it depends. We've worked in textiles before. Textiles are made all over the world. Walk into TJ Maxx tomorrow or walk into a Feynman's clothier like a, um, uh, what's the, like a, uh, they keep merging, uh, like a, uh, go into a Hugo Boss or go into a Joseph A. Bank. I, th I think it was Joseph A. Bank that, that just merged. But if you go look at five suits in, in a men's warehouse or a Brooks Brothers or something like that, or if a woman goes into a Burberry or something like that, maybe Burberry is a bit of an exception because it's such a fine um, it's such a fine clothing line, but you might try on five different suits or five different pairs of shoes or five different shirts, and they're made in five different countries. Uh, Mexico can be a player in the textile industry, but there are a lot of nuances into where it can be a fit, like a lot of sport clothes. They can be a fit in Mexico, but Mexico competes a lot with Colombia um, in, a, in a lot of sporting clothes, especially if they, if they have spandex and rubber. Uh, Colombia Colombia is a rubber producer. Um, it, textile is something you have to take a look at. You're going to have to take a look at any product line or product category, but these are kind of some of the main ones. And also, I, I would always argue to highlight the last point, um, agricultural products. I, I think one of the biggest uh, successes in, of NAFTA, along with the automotive, the successes in the automotive supply chains has been just greater access throughout all three countries uh, uh, and a modernization of the North American food supply chain. I mean, it hasn't been perfect. There'd been a lot of, about this, about Mexicans getting fatter and becoming more obese because of, because of access to American junk food, which I do not deny at all. But um, at the end of the day, Mexican, Mexican producers of, of a lot of tropical fruits and a lot of things that we can't grow in the United States in our winter months, uh, we're able to get, gain access to the U.S. market.